AFL and sports in general give athletes a platform to be admired by millions. However, with huge popularity, there's also a large number of haters. It just comes with the territory. There are various reasons why some players are hated more than others, whether it's their tenacity, big mouth, an AFL rivalry, or moving to a different team. Here are the five most hated AFL players of all time. Jordan Dugowie. Jordan Dugowie is one of the most hated players in AFL history, due to him continuing to make a huge number of stupid decisions off the field. Dugowie is known for his aggressive footy play style that has been crucial in him having amazing performances in two grand finals. But he doesn't only let his aggression out on the pitch. In 2021, Dugowie found himself in a Manhattan jail cell all the way across the globe in America. Why exactly? An assault charge. And that's not all. The man is a known liar. He told club officials that he broke his hand playing with his dog, when in reality, it was because of his involvement in a bar fight. But Collingwood fans have not lost any love for Jordan Dugowie. He is certainly one of every Magpies fan's favourite players. But even Wayne Carey has scolded Dugowie for his poor decision making, which is just crazy coming from another one of the most hated players in AFL history, who you will see later in this video. Toby Green. First, we have Toby Green's infamous kick to Luke Dowhouse's face that drew blood and sent AFL fans into outrage. Then, four years later, Green bumped umpire Matt Stevick in a 2021 elimination final against Sydney and was suspended for six long games, missing the Giants' semi-final clash against Geelong the following week. Toby continued his dirty kicking tactics in a 2018 elimination final against the Swans, guarding space by kicking defenders with his studs. Toby Green is a generational player whose presence on the field makes almost any team scared of him, which is another reason for why he is so heavily hated by opposition fans. Green has also upset Giants fans with his stupid on-field decisions that have taken away from him showcasing his talent. With his abilities, he could easily be one of the best players in the AFL right now, and some might argue he is but his brain fades stop him from being the very best. Green had a very mediocre performance in the 2019 Grand Final, failing to register a single goal and just not having the impact Giants fans expected. Many AFL fans will call Toby a grub, and I can see why. He got in trouble in 2014 after being charged for an alleged assault at a Melbourne nightclub. In retrospect, four years after he angered nearly every AFL fan with his fly kick, it appears like Toby Green has well and truly learned his lesson. Since bumping Matt Stevick in 2021, Toby has started to become a more and more liked player by fans who once hated him. They are beginning to appreciate his unique AFL skills and how good he truly is at the game. The GWS Giants need him to win their first premiership, and without him, they would have never gotten that chance in 2019. I think 2024 will be a big year for Toby Green. Jack Ginnivan. Now, we have another Collingwood player on this list in Jack Ginnivan. It doesn't matter that Ginnivan won the 2022 Anzac medal in just his 10th game. It doesn't matter that he kicked an astounding 40 goals in his second season. Ginnivan is one of the most hated AFL players ever, even today, after winning a premiership in only his third season. His biggest flaw was that he began to shrug perfectly legal tackles high winning himself free kicks and allowing him to add to his goal-scoring tally. Collingwood fans were also left fuming after Ginnivan decided to switch teams and take his talents to Hawthorne on the final day of the 2023 AFL trade period. Though very few free agency decisions in AFL history rocked Australia like that decision from Jack Ginnivan, who immediately went from one of Collingwood's most beloved players to its number one villain. He didn't help himself by attending a horse racing event on Grand Final Eve, which could be a possible reason for his poor performance on the big stage. For his first game in Hawthorne Colours against the Magpies, well, I have no doubts that there will be as hostile a crowd as you've ever seen. After he got caught taking illegal substances in early 2023 and was banned for two games, many people celebrated and called him all kinds of names and insults. There were many people who enjoyed watching Collingwood games just to watch Jack Ginnivan's silly antics, and that's okay, more power to them. 
But one of Ginevan's best characteristics is that he doesn't acknowledge haters, and he always tries to be himself. Ginevan has achieved the dream he has had since he was a six-year-old child in 2008, to play for the Hawks. And for that, I congratulate him. Ginevan was chosen with Collingwood's 13th pick in the 2021 draft, and it's safe to say that he has exceeded all expectations, both on and off the field. Dane Zorko One word that AFL fans would use to describe Dane Zorko is petty. And while he is a petty character, we can't forget his sledge to Harrison Petty, during the 2022 semi-final between Brisbane and Melbourne. And while it is heavily disputed what was exactly said, it must have been pretty bad because it left Petty crying. Mark Robinson described Dane Zorko as crazily competitive, and I agree. It's the reason he does this type of thing. But this is far from Zorko's first heated moment with a player from another team. Because in a 2018 Q clash, Dane Zorko began to get really physical and aggressive with Tuke Miller. Zorko gave him lots of jumper punches throughout the match and made sure to non stop sledge him. Then he carried out a late driving tackle into the ground on Miller after he just disposed of the ball. This continued throughout the years until a 2023 match between Brisbane and Gold Coast, where Zorko would be accused of committing an illegal act that went against everything our game stands for. But Zorko has began to slow down on the sledging. Maybe Dane Zorko has learned that if Brisbane have any chance of redeeming their grand final loss and winning the 2024 Premiership, that he needs to stop being as much of a pest on the field and just focus on his footy and leading the team. Wayne Carey, the king, duck, whatever you want to call him, was one of the most dominant and imposing AFL players ever and many people respect him for that, but where they lose respect is his off-the-field antics. You see, Carey has committed a long list of crimes, and it all began in 1997, after he was charged for indecent assault. And if it happened only once, I think many people would have forgiven him to an extent. But six years later was the story that ruined his career. He was accused of having an affair with the wife of one of his teammates, Anthony Stevens, and Carey was immediately kicked out of North Melbourne. This was the same guy that Carey won the 1999 Premiership with, and December 2006 nearly proved the final straw, because it was the month that Wayne Carey's ex-girlfriend, actress Kate Nielsen, accused Carey of assaulting her, a claim that she would surprisingly later deny. Carey's ex-girlfriend would later describe him as a cat with nine lives, which player in the AFL's over 100 year long history do you hate the most? Let me know with a comment down below and subscribe if you want to see me post more videos like this one. Have an amazing day.